most people just want to buy one console right now phil spencer is saying he's not gonna make it i think he's speaking facts i think he does not want to make call of duty exclusive but still they're giving that 10-year deadline and i understand this is how business works because they also wouldn't if they if they make it like permanently non-exclusive then they're shooting themselves on the foot right then they would never be able to negotiate another deal again with sony this is this is how the mafia works phil spencer a liar I don't Damn. think he's lying. I think that Phil Spencer is a guy who, obviously, he has paid tens of millions of dollars. It's called a public motion filing. So yeah, you can see true. all this stuff here says public on each and every page. This means that legally we're allowed to look at this. I don't know if that's the truth or not because. Alright, buckles, you might want to get your puffers on a leash because it is going down. The story is ridiculous. Apparently, the FTC dropped a massive bombshell. You're not going to believe this one. Apparently, we knew for a while that the FTC was all about Sony, right? They're, like, giving Sony ponies that, that pass. Uh, and the Xbox were having to do that copium. A lot of the Xbox were kind of, like, mad. People were angry. People were mad. And the FTC was like, bro, we're going to tag team with Sony. Then Nintendo came out. And then there was another mother trucker, I believe, NVIDIA as well. So they came out. They started tag teaming with Xbox. They were Team Xbox, Google. We also had the FTC. Team Sony Pony. But now we have a plot twist. They are coming out and they're saying that, bro, like, Sony, you gotta, you gotta sit down, Bertha. This is what happened. Roll it. Drop a thumbs up and let's check it out, guys. Get ready for Lots this. Lots of K Streamcast guy here, talking today about the battle between PlayStation and Xbox. Toxic Sony gamers. and Microsoft have been locked in a very vicious court case for the last year about yep. the future of the Activision Blizzard deal. But now, Microsoft is starting to fight dirty. They have <clears> demanded that Sony reveal a lot of their darkest secrets, and now they have won that fight. Apparently, Sony is going to have to talk about oh, how much they are paying for all their exclusives. And Damn. this might be very, very juicy to see who's been secret. Well, that, that, is, that is ridiculous because let's keep a buck 50. We heard that a couple of months ago that Sony was paying so some of the games do not go on xbox oh, shit. they really did do that and now the ftc ftc is like bro like you gotta tell us uh, exactly how much y'all paid for that shizla you gotta tell us what's happening behind the scenes we need to know microsoft demands answer people demand answer we need to know exactly how much uh, moolah you're trying to like save for this uh, shiza out here and this is crazy boys really Get taking your popcorns. those playstation paychecks but i want to take a look at their court rulings because honestly it's kind of interesting to me hope you're having a great day if you could like this Bruh. video and subscribe if you haven't already guys like the video hit the bell as well and recently 50 cent came out and he started teasing gta 6 i will link you that video at the end get ready for that honest, i had a very long very painful trip to the dentist oh, today and i still can't really feel anything so if i'm talking a bit funny i am wearing my sleeping clothes um i'm gonna barely <laughs> edit this video as well yeah, okay listen man. Get, get well soon first of all and guys one in the chat one in the chat for a good karma man i am so loopy right now but here's what's going loopy. on the ftc has denied sony's motion in order to company produce documents okay oh, so basically yeah. what happened is that microsoft said okay if you want to claim what? that activision blizzard us buying them is bad for business let's talk business how much have you been paying people to not have games on game pass because that's apparently what's been going on there's been a been a oh, big there has been a big open secret for the last couple of years that apparently people if you're making a big triple a game yeah. and microsoft is thinking about buying the rights to put it on game pass but it's still sellable on playstation in certain circumstances it sounds like sony paid those developers just to not put it on game pass N not even to put it on playstation now or playstation plus oh, sony oh. paid developers to not put games on game pass cut the wad cut the wad pump the brakes pump the brakes man get those dogs saying woof woof out here cause god damn man that is <laughs> that is truly insane bro sony is crazy y'all listen man hand on top of the bottle of this uh, hand on top of this bottle of water bruh i do play on sony ponies but facts are facts guys like PlayStation has been doing a whole lot of dumb shies out here, and this is why I'm saying, because recently there has been a rumor started by Andy Robinson, strong, independent, 
But Andy is a credible source, okay? He's behind VGC. It's credible, but what he said was kind of dumb. I don't even know, like, who told him because he said that he cannot reveal his sources. Some of you mofos out there started tapping. Some of you bozos out here. Some of you bimbos out here. Y'all are giga chats. I'm not talking about y'all. I'm Bruh. talking about people that are around you, right? Like, you're a giga chat. You know that already. But some bozos out here have been saying that, bro, he got no source. I, I feel like that he was told by some people. I don't believe it. But the story here, and I will link you that video in the cards. Uh, definitely click it here if you want to check it out after the fact. But basically what we heard here is that you might want to sit down okay that if the activision blizzard deal doesn't go through microsoft will sell xbox oh, shit. Oh, shit. that's what he heard apparently that's what he reported i don't believe that we covered that story as well on the channel and a lot of you guys are not buying that because we're talking microsoft it's a trillion dollar company i mean damn bro they paid 69 billion dollar if this deal doesn't go through more likely the more than likely scenario in this one that i believe is that they're probably just gonna buy a take two <laughs> they're probably gonna buy somebody else who's ready to be bought first of all if they are looking to buy take two take two needs to be ready they need to be ready to be bought. They should be on the floor. Be like, yeah, man, somebody please buy us, man. Please buy us. If they are on the floor saying, Microsoft, please buy us. And Microsoft is like, okay, you be uh, kind of looking like a snack. Okay, might as well go ahead. Uh, 20 billion, 30 billion. Here you go, okay? And that is like half of or more than half of that Activision Blizzard situation, right? 69 billion. I mean, damn, man. Can a brother get like 100 million or something, right? If this deal doesn't go through, then they're probably gonna buy someone that is much, way more cheaper. Now, I do not believe that GTA 6 will ever go exclusive. Like, come on, man. GTA 6 is a bigger game, but they can certainly make and have some exclusive content for GTA 6. If that happens, I, I don't think it will happen, but hypothetically, hypothetically. A strong accusation, but when this got originally thrown out in court, Sony fought very, very, very hard mm. to make it where they would not have to show that information. This is actually, they, they published a 35-point document about why yeah. specifically they consider the fact that this is not allowed, why this is, you know, a, a breach of contract, they shouldn't have to talk about their secret financials. Well, come on, Sony, like, just, stupid. just reveal it. Oh just God. reveal it. Stop just just money. let us know. Just let us know how much money you are spending, okay? People deserve to know. This is such an important thing. The gamers, the toxic gamers, the Sony ponies, the, the boss that want to constantly fight over consoles, they deserve to know. Because if they do not know how else they're supposed to fight, think about those uh, console warriors, Bruh. Sony. Reveal the detail. Drop a thumbs up if you agree, guys. Uh, drop a thumbs up if you want to see that drama and that, that fight. No damn reason. For no damn reason, might as well say. Microsoft won. The motion is granted and denied in part. Now, basically yeah. what this means, Sony is going to have to show all of their exclusivity contracts from 2019 to present. So basically, oh, the entire current generation. Because keep in mind, obviously the PlayStation 5 came out 2020. A lot of these games started going into development around then. I think we're going to discover a lot of people took that Sony paycheck. And I mean, honestly, I, I can't oh even really God. blame them. I'm more <laughs> curious though about certain stuff involving games like Final Fantasy, because as it currently exists, <laughs> there has never been any public disclosure about why Final Fantasy is only on PlayStation. There was mm. a bunch of leaks a while back that they yep, wanted to put yep, Final yep. Fantasy VII Remake on the Xbox Series X and Series S, Xbox. but obviously it never materialized. And mm. the thought was that maybe that was still when the contract was up in the air, when there was still some discussions at least about the idea of, you know, more Square Enix games going to Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PlayStation. It seems like Sony has been paying big buckets, like millions Damn. and millions of dollars for people to just not put their games on Xbox, which again Bro. is just insane to think about. Let's keep a buck 50, guys. I do play on the Sony ponies, but if Microsoft was in this situation, they would have probably done the same thing. L let's keep a buck here, guys. Like these companies, uh, here's the thing, guys. These companies, they do not care about you. They really don't care about you. If you pass away tomorrow, they will be sad that they lost that 60, 70 dollars that they could have made off of your dumbass every single year. That's what they care Bruh. about. They care about those online subscriptions. They care about the Game Pass deals. PlayStation cares about the PlayStation Plus. They want to make sure you buy the games digitally and not physically because if you buy the games digitally, they make a lot of profit off of your dumbass. 
even though you the, the, the price should be lower for digital because they're not have to make those manuals and physical copies they do not have to have the, the shipping out there they don't have to ship it to the the warehouse and uh, you know you buying it or ship it to your home directly they do not have to have a physical edition they do not have to put that much effort it should be lower drop a thumbs up if you agree guys but yeah. but but the, the digital is where they make that profit that's what they care about that's the bottom line that's the bottom line they really don't care but the fact of the matter here is that if microsoft was in this position uh like sony they would have been doing the same thing and that the fact that sony is dead ass uh paying devs so they do not put the games on game pass that is wild y'all now i'll say this game pass is a good model for the gamers for the toxic gamers uh but i'm not sure if it's sustainable and i do believe that if sony was to have that game pass like exact game pass obviously they got the higher up of the high tier playstation plus that is the equivalent of game pass but if sony was to deadass have the exact same xbox game pass where they would put god of war ragnarok day one it wouldn't work well for sony okay they wouldn't be able to make that much profit and people have shown time and time again that in defense of sony guys facts are facts okay i'm not trying to be a sony pony not trying to be an xbox god of war ragnarok it's a quality game hogwarts legacy is a quality game although hogwarts legacy is on both consoles right it's on every console but single player games is truly very sad because the multiplayer games in this day and age they're completely soulless live service games it needs to end bro it really needs to end all the live service games look at call of duty modern warfare 2 they're adding like extra schlong the 3000 devs couldn't even come together as one and make one new multiplayer map bro it's been Bruh. five months okay live service games completely dead single player games is where it's at i'm not saying that multiplayer games are ba uh, bad i just am seeing what's happening and i'm t describing I, I took notes okay i took notes Bruh. i took notes and i'm describing what's happening right now i love multiplayer games but right now they're just killing the, mul the multiplayer market they need to come together they need to make it better and the fact that sony is really paying devs to not put the games on game pass that is wild because those game devs they're like oh my god oh my god i want to put the game i want to put oh, the game on game pass but i don't know if that's the truth or not because here's the thing recently we had some devs okay oh, shit. Oh, that shit. did came out and they said that if we put our games on game pass we lose money that's what they said and microsoft uh, phil spencer was caught in a lie because he said that uh people by he said that back in 2018 and just a couple of weeks ago i did report that in a gaming news video because ign broke the news somebody else also broke the news <laughs> because phil spencer back in late 2019 2018 just google that he did say that game pass leads to more sales but just a couple of weeks ago we figured out that that's not the case when people buy game pass they don't buy that many brand new games Bruh. which is logical right because if you have a subscription that gives you more new games why would you want to buy a brand new games guys not trying to be a console warrior i have to constantly say this because uh, the xbox and sony ponies they always are ready to start at ww5 and go for it man just uh, drop those uh, in the chat but the fact of the matter here is that that news broke then phil spencer came forward he said that uh, e -uh, um, uh, uh, e -e -uh. that's what he kind of did now i do believe that if you buy game pass the, the, there are high chances you're likely not gonna buy new games and sony knows that N what i'm trying to say here is that guys sony's lying xbox is lying and sometimes they need to keep things under wraps and sometimes they do things behind the scenes that are really dumb for consumers but in the end it's profitable for them and that's basically the bottom line i do think parts of this are going to be heavily redacted uh this is what's called a public motion filing yeah, so you can see true. all this stuff here says public on each and every page this means that legally we're allowed to look at this now a lot of times court documents when they have stuff that's super top secret like specific numbers or you know mergers Bruh. phone numbers stuff like that obviously they put like a big blackout thing on it i think the final court documents are probably gonna be yo we're not talking about area 51 we're not talking about the damn area Aliens, uh, it does not need to be <laughs> classified, man. Pretty blacked out when it comes to like <laughs> who got a $50 million paycheck. But I am kind of just curious to see what if there's hundreds and hundreds of studios that took the Sony paycheck not to be on Xbox. Yeah. I think it would be an interesting case that it would know, be. PlayStation, even if they're not buying up as many studios as Microsoft is, they're definitely still spending who that. Who do you think, who do you think uh, actually paid? 
Yeah, pump the brakes, man. Pump the brakes. Who do you think actually paid Sony? Oh, no, Sony. Who do you think Sony paid to, actually? My bad. Bruh. I don't know who it could be, though. Maybe... No, nah, not Epic Games. Like, come on, man. Like, Bruh. Who, though? Who? 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 A cash. Now... The part of the reason that I feel like a lot of people are interested in this is that Phil Spencer has lately been talking about the idea of Starfield and exclusivity. Mm. Specifically, the reason people are talking about Starfield is because right now there is a bunch of debate as to whether or not eventually Call of Duty is going to be exclusive to Xbox in like 10 oh, years. Oh, Will that actually happen? Yeah, listen, man, I do believe that in 10 years time, they probably will, depending on where Xbox is at sales wise uh, as a console numbers wise how people are feeling because 10 years later guys times will be different man like you remember how gaming was five years ago most of you probably do not even know Bruh. what you what you did last night most of you probably don't even know what you ate for uh for breakfast this morning how would you even know what happened five years uh, ago how would you even know what will happen 10 years later <laughs> you know what i'm saying Bruh. uh drop a thumbs up if you agree but listen man the, the 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 fact of the matter here is that gaming has changed drastically in the last five years drastically last 10 years 10 years crazy five years oh shiza bro and five years from now 10 years from now it's gonna be very much different so if you believe that microsoft can never make a uh, call of duty exclusive you are delusional okay? <laughs> they can do whatever they want once the deal uh has gone through you just need to understand this okay these companies they do not care about us they do not care about you they have to they have to care if you are mad and you are talking and you are not buying uh, their stuff you can keep on talking uh, as long as you're buying they are good they're gonna make money off of your dumb ass but the second you stop buying that's when they care profits money over consumers money over everything that's basically the motto here guys like they will do everything and i'm saying the same for sony i'm saying the same for microsoft i'm saying the same for every billion dollar corporation out there microsoft is a trillion dollars so that's uh Bruh. you know what they they even have a bigger they have more bigger thirst they have a bigger stomach for stuff like that they have a bigger hunger uh for having more and acquiring more and making more if that that makes sense so 10 years later i will not be surprised if it becomes xbox exclusive now listen okay i'm in a fortunate place okay uh, i i can buy an xbox if i wanted Bruh. to i have just one console in fact i got ps3 i really want to sell a ps3 guys come on man like make that backwards compatibility happen for ps5 but the fact of the matter here is that like i'm in a fortunate place god bless grateful for that uh but i do understand that not everybody is most people just want to buy one console myself included i'm in a good place i can get another one i can get xbox if call of duty ever becomes exclusive so i'm not complaining about that i'm just saying that more most people just want to have one console right now phil spencer is saying he's not gonna make it i think he's speaking facts i think he does not want to make call of duty exclusive but still they're giving that 10-year deadline and i understand this is how business works because they also wouldn't if they if they make it like permanently non-exclusive then they're shooting themselves on the foot right then they would never be able to negotiate another deal again with sony this is this is how the mafia works guys this is how the mafia Bruh. works and, and let's keep it let's keep it a buck here 10 years later their mindset will be different they might make it exclusive depending on what happens and that's what sony is afraid of for for real uh, that that is the only thing because if they <laughs> We cannot lose Call of Duty, man. We cannot lose. That's uh, where Sony's at. Not just on Game Pass, will it only be buyable on an Xbox console? Phil Spencer said a strange statement in an interview just yesterday where he said, we're going to treat Call of Duty like we do any Bethesda game. The stuff Damn. that exists on other platforms will continue to update it. Now, people have been bringing that up because Starfield originally was going to be on PlayStation 5. Yeah. Um, a lot of the developers, Pete Hines, one of the main guys at Bethesda, straight up said, yeah, we were going to make Starfield on... Uh, PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, and then we got bought by Microsoft, so now it's just an Xbox Series X game. Mm. So people are starting to think, is this some weird flip-floppy Phil Spencer terminology? I don't think it is. I do think he's he's uh he's being you know, pretty pretty sincere. Like 
a lot of people yeah, I, I think phil spencer is being sincere when he says that but you guys gotta understand this like what would happen after phil spencer leaves uh xbox it's gonna happen every ceo look at playstation look what who was the ceo before phil spencer look who was the ceo before uh jim ryan a lot of people prefer sean Layden, myself included i feel like that sean Layden uh ps4 era was probably the best so far i mean jim ryan can still surprise us uh we, we are still like midway more not even midway closer to midway through this uh ps5 life cycle and so far there hasn't been any boom there hasn't been any power now i'm not saying jim ryan is out there like doing uh he's out there making games he's more of like a ceo he's making sure everybody's working he's making sure nobody does helicopters with their bullies while making the games but let's be real bruh everybody's doing helicopters with their release here guys like that uh, <laughs> uh do not chase a pom pom guys uh, chase your dreams and smash a like button. keep calling phil spencer a liar i don't Damn. think he's lying i think that phil spencer is a guy who obviously he has paid tens of millions of dollars to make sure that xboxes keep selling but i think he's just flip floppy with his terms sometimes Damn. by accident just to give him a bit of extra guys recently this also happened 50 cent teases gta 6 click on this video on the screen or click the video on the left because phil spencer might be selling xbox if the activision deal doesn't go through click on this video check these videos out guys and i will see you right there